in that matchup there, it was, I'd say, it was close. Um, and this is this is a close one. Um, I would give it to. Uh, MMA fans all over the globe, welcome to the main event of the very first virtual MMA championship. Here are the rules. It is a full three minute MMA shadow box routine. Fighters will be combining all of the following MMA techniques in a three minute period. Striking, takedowns, ground game, beat positions of control, submissions, or ground and pound. And last, executions of transitions is very important. The criteria for judging are as follows. Striking, 30%. Ground game, grappling, submissions, ground and pound is 30%. Takedown and transitions, 20%. Endurance, 15%. And judge's discretion is 5% for an overall total of 100%. This championship bout is presented by Wanna Pro C. Boost your immune system. It has all the necessary vitamins, minerals, pre and probiotics to give you extra strength to last several rounds of shadow boxing. Our five judges scoring the contest are Ole Larson, Juan Mercado, Mark Munoz, Guy Chase, and Eric Paulson. And when the action begins, our commentators inside of virtual space, JC Reyes, and coach Franco Rulioda. And now, this is scheduled for three rounds for the undisputed virtual MMA Shadow Boxing Championship title of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, who will grind on the first round, weighing 145 pounds from Team Cafaguay MMA. Representing Palali Publacion sa Blanbinget, Philippines. Here is Felix, Dave, Jaco, Cantores. Introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, who will be slugging it out for the second round. Weighing 141 pounds from Team Aguila Combat Academy. Representing Matina Davao City, Philippines, put your hands together for Rafi Barrette. Fighters ready, judges ready. Let's get this started. <laughs> Always love the backdrop. <laughs> Iba talaga yung ano nila. <laughs> May ambience. <laughs> oh. Boom. Good attack. Okay. Good sequencing. Good pace. Moving in angles. Okay, side game. Mas Metal may workshop. angle na sa... Yep. So we're gonna go lead kick, low kick. Okay. Uppercut and then uh, hook and then uppercut makes sense. Okay. Sprawl. Okay, mm -hmm. that's good. Okay. So that was mimicking. So the sprawl, then the slight push okay. is mimicking someone taking them down. So they defended, and then after the sprawl, it was a slight nudge towards his opponent to create space. So that makes sense. And we're gonna go. Hmm. Hindi ko gets kung ano yung uh, lead jab pa ba ba eh. Ano ba yung jab uh, to the body ba yun? Ayan o, para po. I guess, body, body shot ba yun? <laughs> Bakit yung jab niya pa ba ba? Jab to the body. <laughs> jab to the body. <laughs> ha, pero hindi ko... Okay, lead yung, jab. Yung transitions straight. niya from one oh. technique to another parang medyo uh, off sa akin. Ayan o. Oo, ako rin o. May kulang, may kulang. So, hmm. Okay, we're gonna go for a takedown, foot sweep, very good. Ended up in side mount, ground and pound from side control. We're gonna go up, 
knee on the belly, transition to mount, mm -hmm. continue ground and bound oh, towards boy. the mounted position. Arm okay. bar, very good. Oh, okay. wait in a post, very good. Stand up again. Hmm. Very interesting choice of punches. <laughs> oh, why? Pababa yung isa. Okay, that's really good. A hip throw. Okay. Yeah. Ended up in side control. Now we're going to go north okay. south. And then, mm. uh, okay. okay, so that's an anaconda okay. choke. Very, Very good, good transition, good spin. Mm, they have something new on the you table. Know. Very good. Okay, so. Okay. Uh huh. <laughs> Side control, going to okay. mount. We're going to continue okay. with grounded bound from the mounted position, okay. head control. So okay, kung yari ito lumalaban. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay. Nag, ano yun? That was probably an arm triangle. Okay, yeah. okay, leg kick. Okay, that's good. Down the opponent, passes the guard, and up inside okay. control. Now we're pounding the face. Kasi okay. kitame, holding the leg. Okay, that's... Okay, that's A. That's A. Time. Okay. JC, ikaw muna. So, may mga... Uh, isa sa unang kong napansin sa kanya is yung uh, chain of movements niya were not very uh, well-connected with each other for mm -hmm. some reason. Parang... Uh, well... Uh, pag nakaharap siya sa isang side, okay, tuloy-tuloy. Pero yung pag bigla siyang... Uh, gumalaw sa susud na side parang naligaw hindi mo malaman kung kung uh, if he was trying to show na yung kalaban niya ay eh, umiikot din kunyari sa 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 cage or what pero uh, parang paikot-ikot siya sa cage for for no reason at all sa nakita ko lang okay i'm going to echo the same mm -hmm. sentiment as my co-host uh, it's good that it's really good that uh, Contoris was using utilizing angles. Mm -hmm. He was working. Uh, he was working side to side. He was throwing combinations. However, mm -hmm. the chain of movement, the way it came together. Okay, when you throw combinations mm -hmm. uh, from punches to kicks, it has mm -hmm. to come together. It has to yes. look natural, to feel natural, and when you execute, it will come out naturally. Mm -hmm. Next, I do not understand why the. <laughs> Low body punches. Okay. <laughs> normally when you go oh, normally when you go for a jab, you change your levels. Okay. If you're gonna mm. go for a body shot, you change levels. You don't punch down. So that uh, needs a little bit of improvement. Uh the only thing that I also observed that needs uh fixing is um from a downed opponent and you want to mm. pass someone's guard, you do not mimic a takedown to pass mm -hmm. the guard. Okay. More or less you end up either in close guard or mm -hmm. or you're gonna get up kicked. Okay, so <laughs> But other than that, it, it was a vast improvement. We see mm -hmm. more transitions from the ground, more attacks. There, I saw three to four submissions, mm -hmm. which was really, really good. So again, yeah. good job, Cantores. Yeah. Oh, he has a different uh, na, location. Oh, parang medyo maganda yung Hindi setup. Hindi na ito sa matikip na kawara ito. Oh, yeah. medyo maganda yung setup. No? Old school na ano. Oh. Parang parang dito naglaban si Bruce Lee tsaka si Chuck Norris. <laughs> Pang fight club na setup. Oh, oh di ba? <laughs> okay. Okay, I love the intention behind each okay. uh, execution. Okay, mukhang pinanood niyo yung through. last... Um, <laughs> match up kasi you no know, he's using the camera very well na din <laughs> exactly i mean the vantage point of the camera and the way he's utilizing his angles yeah. is pretty good okay now yeah okay. so you set up okay. your punch you set up your takedowns you go for at least one to two punches before you go to the takedown okay. mm -hmm. successful takedown and then we go side control North Boom. south, okay. Okay, north south, that's good. Okay. Mm. Hey, okay. 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 we're gonna give it to your opponent. Na he was able to stand up. Yeah. Good side kick. Okay. Superman punch. 
That makes sense. That is a workable combination. Yeah. And yes, Your... more movement than last time. <laughs> Feeling ko ano eh, it's because ano eh, uh, marami na siyang space to move. Oo. Uh, diba? Pero definitely, this was, uh, this is definitely an upgrade uh, in terms of sequence. A lot of really good, ano, combinations here. Mm, the striking is good. Okay. Boom. Oh. Okay. Overhand. Overhead. Bumagsak. <laughs> Overhand. Bumagsak. Ayan. Oh. Okay. Okay. As it's the guard, we go... So, ano to? Kesa Gitame. Tapos pupunta tayong Mount or North-South. Okay. Boom. Okay. <laughs> okay. Pumipiglas? Okay. That's a Kim. Ayan. Okay. Pumipiglas. Okay. okay. Went for an Americana. Very creative. Americana. Knee on the belly. Back to side control. Let's go to Mount. Very good. Boom. Boom. It's gonna go okay. up. Ano to? He's trying. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Inside okay. close guard. Trying to do an RNC. An... Huh? Ah, so ano to? Is it, is it, oh, <laughs> no, no, no. Weird na. na. Hindi ko alam kung RNC attempt of oh. sorts or... <laughs> Parang hindi rare naked Nick choke. Rock. Parang front, parang front naked <laughs> choke yun eh. <laughs> FNC <laughs> front naked choke. <laughs> Oh, JC, go ahead, Muna. Okay. Well, first off, uh, I like that they he, he managed to find a better space now. Mas na galaw na siya than uh, the last time. Um, I like yung yung uh, angles niya and the way he moved. Mas uh, he has this uh, <clears throat> in chain of movements now. Like uh, compared to the other one, has uh, more reason, more. More connects, uh, mas mas uh, kumbaga mas <clears throat> naintindihan yung yung chain of movements niya in in uh, in, in this one. Although yeah, yung isa ko na pansin is that last. I don't know if the, uh, that submission was weird. <laughs> okay, uh, a few more a few more observations. I love the sequences. I love the functionality mm-hmm. behind the sequences. Yeah. It was much more intense. Definitely in the striking department, he won this yeah. uh, by, by a landslide. I also like the transitions. Um, one thing that is notable is everyone, uh, not just uh, Barete, but for everyone who's going to watch and listen to this, when you're on mount, always remember that it, that it's one of the most dominant positions that you could be in. So mm-hmm. please, even in simulations, when you're in mount, do not bring your opponents down to close guard. Mm-hmm. I do not understand because it, it was either he put the guy in close guard or he mimicked that the guy turtled and then he got his back because he did the rear naked choke. Because yeah. I'm assuming it's a rear naked choke because if not, you're in close guard and you're going to do a rear naked choke na motion. That's never going to happen, okay? Yeah. It's not. Not unless you have the squeeze of 30 people <laughs> uh, you won't get a submission from that position. Yeah. Okay, there's just not there's not much leverage, mm. and uh, it, it's gonna take too much out of you. But other than that, I love the new location. I love the sequences mm. of the strikes. A lot of the things made sense, and even the transitions yes. from from passing the guard to mount mm-hmm. to north south, and then everything else is good. So I mean, I I, I love I love the way he did this round. Kabusta, kababayan ko! Oh, my sexy penoise tonight. No more! No! <laughs> Nobody messes with my family! You're my hero! I love that! It's too Filipino! What's free? America! Um, yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd put him in uh, there in that first bracket with the uh, guy number one. So I'd like to see them, I mean, they broke it down into like, now we shadow box, now I do it. Instead of just having the, 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 the flow between like shadow boxing, shoot, shadow boxing, shoot, shadow boxing, fake shoot me, and just like playing with with all of it instead of they like split it up into like 
like either they're doing the shooting on the bag or they or they're they're their shadow and they, they don't mix it in okay well i think uh, in that matchup there it was i'd say it was close um just because the first guy what was his name navarrete barrete barrete, barrete rafi yeah i think that he um he showed more agility he was more uh aware of uh, his movements so I, i'd give it to him he had a, a better flow also and yeah just a better flow overall he looked like he had closer idea to what mma is than this guy who, who he seemed definitely like a striker that is just down to fight because that's what a lot of these uh the Filipino fighters, they have the heart, they're down to fight, they just lack the skills in certain areas, right? They're, they're down, but they just don't really know what they're doing many other times, and it's just like, it's hard all the way. Cantores. With him, he uh, he showed a lot of variety in his kicks, uh, which I, I, I like, um, and he was hitting angles. Um, and he was changing his levels, going up and down, not just um, head hunting. So um, after his combinations, he was angling off and then had a variety of kicks. I mean, he did he did teeps, leg kicks, inside leg kicks. Out, um, he did uh, uh, lead leg lead leg kicks. He did um, head kicks, uh, teeps. He did spinning spinning heel kicks. Um, Uh, spinning body kicks so he showed a variety of kicks um in his takedowns he showed body lock um takedowns um and uh you know didn't really show any penetrating into um striking to takedowns he didn't show that but that's okay he um also he uh um showed some transitions um from the from the ground and pound to submissions um transitions from mount uh from side control to mount um he even showed some submissions in the dars uh he did a dars and uh you know arm bar and, and a triangle so um he showed a lot of variety um uh, uh yeah i i liked i liked his uh I liked his style So I, this is Barrete, right? Um, I really liked his angles um, from striking. Liked his angles. Uh, liked um, his in and out um, uh, striking in, angling out, um, and uh, his variety on his combinations uh, was was good. His variety on his kicks too was was good um his um takedowns he showed uh striking two takedowns um like a double leg to the takedown um he um went on top and started posturing which mm -hmm. i like to see posture to the ground and pound and then control uh he did that um and then uh he um went to uh, some submissions as well. Cantores and, and Barrete, the level of both uh, in terms of their grappling is very, very similar. The level of the striking is uh, that their their endurance is great. Their takedowns were, were basically the same level. Uh, the, the, the difference uh, was in the in the intent and explosivity of the striking that even though both had good footwork both had uh, uh, very explosive uh, footwork uh, uh, Barrete showed more head movement and uh, more var variety in this in the in the striking and more intention in the striking and more speed and making the rest basically equal that would make a great difference in uh, in a fight since both uh, both have like a similar level of endurance they, they none of them slowed down so uh, 
assuming that is equal, the takedowns is equal, their their the grappling level is equal. The grappling level in terms of technique for submission was better for 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 Cantores. Uh, he show, he showed more uh, more the more grappling technique, which balances a, a bit on the striking. The thing is that the explosivity of the striking of Barrete gave him like a teen CBD edge. But both the, the things that that, that they, they uh, since the 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 display that uh, that they did made it uh, a a a hard decision. So um, I'm very pleased with what I saw. Both did incredibly great. Uh, it's uh, quite good that that they're that they're showing their their their, their level. So uh, Felix is uh, he's got um he's he's. Let's let's get some some good stuff. So he's got some good ground stuff. He looks like he, he he's comfortable on the ground. Again, he's uh, he seems to be uh, uh, and he's more relaxed in his shadow boxing, which is good. He's a lot more relaxed, and uh, he's uh, um, he, he's nice and composed. He feel he looks like he's good and composed in his in his shadow box. I would just tune up his uh, his rear foot, and make it a little bit more springy. A lot of a lot of guys will keep their rear foot flat almost when they move, and that's when you want to be more springy. Bruce Lee, Muhammad Ali, get guy, even Manny Pacquiao, that you'll see the rear foot's a lot more. The heel is up higher, makes it more for spring action. And uh, I would say Felix needs to get his stance a little bit closer. It means both feet need to get a little bit more closer so he can re uh, advance faster, retrieve faster, and sprawl faster. With the feet a little bit more wider, it's good for picking bodies up, but it's not good for spring loading. So I would say on, on that scale that, um, you know, he just needs to tune those things up. I, looks like he's got a little bit good ground game going on um, from uh, his his punching to his body positions and stuff. So I think he's, 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 he's good on the ground and stuff a little bit. Um, and uh, I would score him somewhere around... Uh, I would I would score him somewhere around a five or six, and um, you know again I, he's got good composure, good shadow box composure. I mean, he's more he's a little bit more uh, more relaxed. And then on uh, Rafi is a Rafi. Rafi is uh, I would say he's a good striker. He he imitates Muay Thai for sure. Uh, he's his his. Um, his hands look really good. Um, his composure, uh, Muay Thai style, is is, is good. Um, he's got good strike game. It looks like good knees. Uh, he's got less ground. Looks like he's a little bit. Uh, he looks like he's a little bit uh, less uh, less uncomfortable on the ground. He don't look that comfortable on the ground, but that can always be you know changed or. Can just be enhanced and, and things of that nature. Uh, his stand-up game, though, looks 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 really good. His composure looks good. Throws good power with his punches and kicks. So um, you know, this is a tough match. I mean, this would be a good match because one guy is good on the ground. It looks like comfortable. And one guy is good at standing up. So this would be a good match. Hard to judge. Uh, I would say Rafi's got some. Um, you know, he's got good stand-up. His Ground game again needs a, needs a, needs some work, and uh, a lot of a lot of Muay Thai guys don't realize this is MMA. It's not Muay Thai. Muay Thai is just stand up. And remember, Muay Thai fighters are actually in the fight for longevity, five rounds, right? And and sometimes they're five minute rounds, so they they can hit, hit, they can expert that energy. Can't do that in an MMA fight. You'll be exhausted in a minute and a half if you breathe like that. If you think of, a, of, of an automobile, if it just keeps pepping every time that it you give it the gas, it will run out of power. So less noise uh, when you're when you're when you're on the on the strike. And imagine shadow boxing for an hour. Your noise will 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 disappear after about five minutes. You'll you'll mm -hmm. be exhausted. You won't you won't be able to breathe. So even in a fight, don't 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 breathe that heavy. What end up happening is you'll 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 get more exhausted, you know. You breathe out of your nose, keep your tongue on the roof of your mouth, and you you'll have more energy in in a, in a longevity fight for sure. So I would give Rappy 
his stand up it looks really good. Uh, you know, he's got good composure on his stand up. So he's he I would say he's around a six. You know what I mean? He, he's around a six to a seven. But this I would say this this matchup is close. I would both give them. You know, I would give Rafi probably a six to a to a seven. In 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 uh, is it? Uh, I'm sorry, just look at the name here. Um, uh, Felix yeah, or works. give them to a five to a six, but still, even I would even say that they're both at a six and a half. If I could say they're both at a good six, six and a half. But that's this is a hard one to judge. This one's a really hard one to judge. I would say it's pretty close to being a draw. Uh, final score. I, I'm going to give it to Rafi. I'm going to give it to Rafi for the second one because uh, his intensity. Mm. I would have liked to see more shooting and more throwing. So he he lost ten points because of that. Because he only had one takedown and then he just dove on the guy. I would have liked to see him a little. He had one submission. Again, it's shadow boxing. So basically, if you're if you're trying to if you were to watch a fight, you could hockey. You could actually collar tie and hockey punch a guy. And then just keep hockey, and that would be the end of the fight. But that's not fun to watch. We're looking for technical stuff. So uh, as far as Felix went, I gave him a 28 out of 30 for striking. Uh, 28 out of 30. I think he could have had a little more intensity, but he seemed pretty well-rounded. But he didn't have that, like, like look like he was going to knock someone's head off. Uh, takedowns, 15 out of 20. I think they need a bigger grappling bag. The little mm -hmm. bag, it's hard, you know, it's it's hard to demonstrate a bunch of stuff on a small little bag like that. Uh, ground game, 25 out of 30. He was moving really well. He seemed very technical on the ground. Um, he did a few submissions. Uh, I would have liked to see him a lot more intensity in his, his ground strikes where he's just zipping and ripping the bag. Perfect. Endurance, I gave him a 12 because it looked like he... He was preserving his energy, not going for it. I would have liked to see him go go all out and sell out. And then again, as a judge, I gave him a five out of five. So I gave him a score of 85. 85. And then Rafi striking. I gave him a 30. I liked his intensity. Takedowns. He only did one. He gets a 10 out of 20. The ground game. Uh, I would have liked to see more submissions, but he was very intense on hitting and striking on the ground. His endurance, he he sold out. He gave me a 15, and as far as my judges score, I give him a five. So he's 87. Uh, both, both, uh, great, great uh, shadow boxing. I, I like to watch these guys. I'm glad they're doing MMA, and. And that's one, one aspect is that you have to address those three things. Remember, uh, MMA is, is basically a triathlon where you have striking, wrestling, takedowns, and then you have submission. Uh, and the submission could be, uh, you could pound someone's face in and win. You could win by striking on the ground or you could win by submission. So I like to see both of those. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Let's listen to the five judges. It was close, uh, just because, what was his name, Navarrete? Barrete, Barrete, Barrete Rafi. Yeah. I think that he, um, he showed more agility, he was more uh, aware of uh, his movements, so... I, I'd give it to him. Uh, so I would, uh, I would, I would give it to to Rafi, Rafi Barrete. But I would say a half point off more. I would say Rafi's got a probably a half point higher just because of his composure, upright, and stuff like that. And uh, his striking game seems to be more precise. So the winner will go to Rafi over Felix. Um, if I were to give it to somebody, and this is. This is a close one. Um, I would give it to um, Barrete. And for the winner, via unanimous decision, the first 
undisputed virtual MMA shadow boxing champion of the world, Rafi Barre.